There are many out there helping those living with mental illness in Victoria. And the couple you're about to meet have a very personal reason for supporting those who are struggling. Veronica Cooper has their story. You're going to go to work and just be like a fairy nymph. Yeah. <laughs> it's not often that one's job involves glue, foliage and skin. <laughs> But it's just another day at Bespoke Blossoms Flower Company. We strive to have a very artistic line, something that's a little bit different, not your, not your average flower shop. Yeah. My hair, do you want it? Let's take it down, actually. Just and not your average flower photos, either. These are honestly probably my favorite types of shoots to be booked for. I just love the creativity. A little bit more on this one. Now that creativity will help those struggling with mental health challenges. We live in the downtown core as well, and so we see people experiencing mental health difficulties. And we wanted to do something for Victoria that was going to help destigmatize mental health and bring the topic up in a positive way and do something beautiful. Do you want to put a thing of baby's breath in your lap as well? A beautiful calendar blooms for benefits with all proceeds to Island Community Mental Health. We provide housing programs, we provide employment and education programs, we have day programs for people recovering from mental illness. The idea of a fundraising calendar came about after Anissa's partner Nick was one of a number of people attacked in downtown Victoria last May by someone in an intense state of psychosis. It all happened really, really fast. The gentleman came up from behind me. I was by myself walking down uh, probably Fort and Government. I got hit in the face two or three times. I, I really don't recall. Suddenly everything was sideways and there was a lot of blood. The attack itself, it, it was bad, but the reality is that I think it was just a catalyst for us to look around and realize how many people in our lives are affected by mental health. We wanted to take something that negatively impacted a lot of people and turn it into something positive. Just kind of bury yourself in flowers. <laughs> Photographer Tristan Williams didn't hesitate to donate her time and expertise to a project supporting mental health. I feel the more you talk about it and more that you make it normal, the more that it is normal because everyone struggles with their own demons. It's about starting a conversation about how mental health touches every single person in our community. So that's what's so unique about Nick and Anissa's story is that they took a really challenging experience and turned it into something positive. Click on our links tab to learn more about the Blooms for Benefit calendar. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.